ready to rock your thumb mix today <laughs> welcome good morning it's saturday and saturday is savior day we're doing dessert i'm doing dessert i hope you're doing dessert with me i will be preparing uh orange chocolate mousse I've never done it. It's the first time, but it reads really delicious, especially since it contains, oh, you cannot see it, control, the orange liqueur, and it contains sugar and it contains cream. So hey, what can go wrong? <laughs> uh, follow along with me or make your own creations today. The three desserts that I suggested for today are the berry dream which is a must-have i'm sure you can throw some control in there as well the mousse that i will be preparing and the zabayuna which is delicious with uh, either prosecco or wine and egg yolks and sugar and that's about it and it's delicious served over fruit so back to the um, mousse i of course have it listed in my weekly plan and to get there i just go to my week and then I pull up the recipe and it's the chocolate orange mousse. And I will, oh, continue. No, actually I wanna finish it. And since I just finished it, I can now see it in my recently cooked. That's another nice uh, button to know to get to your um, recently cooked menus. So start cooking. We're starting out with the chocolate seven ounce yes almost and then we are just gonna grind it down so you can just buy bigger chunks of chocolate you do not have to get the chocolate chips but with of course the thermomix you get it as small as you want to for five seconds speed seven are even a, bit, a little bit louder. Ooh. It says to scrape down um, the sides, but it doesn't look like that's necessary. Hope you can see that. Nicely ground up. And next we are adding two ounces of heavy cream. And here's a tip always have some cream in the fridge especially if you want to do whipped cream because if the cream doesn't come out out of the fridge it won't whip you will make butter so always have like um i have a tetra pack from trader joe's i always have them in the pantry and i always have one in my fridge so will be mixed sides and thank you for joining by the way everybody who is watching um, put your question in the comment if you have any question if you have any suggestions or if you just want to say hi and happy Saturday morning and now for four minutes temperature is 120 Fahrenheit and this is how you can see that this is a US recipe and speed two. So we will melt the chocolate and the cream and we don't have anything that we have to do. While this is melting, I just want to go over uh, our accessories. You may be using all of your accessories, you may be not. I see that my husband is joining from the other room. <laughs> hi Anna, hi Daniela. So this is the butterfly whisk and the butterfly whisk we'll actually use later today in the recipe. This is perfect to make butter, to make whipped cream. It's also used in risottos. So whenever you want a gentle mixing, you use the butterfly and it's just being put onto the blade. We will use that later today. Another accessory that is new for the TM6 is the splash guard. 
The splash guard goes on top of the lid instead of the measuring cup. And this is a new accessory for the TM6 for the high heat function. And uh, the holes are here just to let the air escape. And still, you won't get any splatters because it's protected in the middle. We have the simmering basket. The simmering basket is perfect for boiling rice or steaming rice. I use it all the time for uh, my steamed or boiled eggs. The kids love having um, boiled eggs. And thanks to the function where I can set my time, I can choose how much the eggs should be done. So I usually do 11 and a half minutes and the kids love it. And for rice, recommend this for rice. I personally enjoy it because it's nice and fluffy. And if you want to get it out of the bowl, you use our spatula and the hook of the spatula to take it out. So that's the practical part. Have you noticed that I figured out how to flip my screen? So now you can actually see the dials as they should be. Yeah, it bugged me a little bit that you couldn't read what I was cooking on the screen. This is the blade cover, and the blade cover is the only accessory that does not come with the Thermomix. That's an optional purchase, and this is handy for sous vide. Um, it just sits on the blade and it will basically protect the food from the blade and I use it all the time to boil or to cook uh, chicken thighs uh, on bone or like uh, drumsticks and turn it into amazing chicken soup or uh, fricasse. So for that, this is really a very handy accessory. Um, contact me if you want to get free shipping. We, we might be able to figure something out. And of course the Varoma, and Varoma is vapor and aroma. So this is the Varoma tray and right here. And this is the Varoma itself. And the tray is awesome um, also because you can cover it with parchment paper and you can steam fish or chicken or veggies in here and if you have any ingredients that are dripping like an egg like a raw egg for example you can just put parchment paper here or if you're in germany then there are several uh, companies that sell like a silicone form that fits perfectly into the varoma tray the varoma lid goes on top but the Varoma lid is also very handy once the ingredients are steamed. You can just use it and use it as a tray. You see, I have to figure out how the, how the camera is put. Ah. Let's see what our chocolate has been doing. Ooh, so this is the chocolatier's dream. Not, not a clump in sight, really smooth mixture. And usually that has to be done in a double boiler. So this way you just set and forget, which of course why I love the Thermomix. We're adding five ounces of whipped cream. As I said, cream, sugar, and control. Cheers. And we're adding four egg yolks. And continue with the mixing process. Just gonna mix it up for 15 seconds. So if you're joining my um, challenge, thank you so much. I know some of you are just joining without posting, so thank you. Because all I really want to do is help you optimize your Thermomix. A Thermomix is something to be used. It's not something to be looked at. And it really gets sad if you don't use it. Transfer into a bowl and set aside. So you have this delicious 
chocolate gooey mixture and I will transfer it into a bowl. And instead of washing my bowl, I have a second one. And I recommend anybody to get a second bowl. You can also earn $50 off if you're hosting a cooking experience and somebody purchases a Thermomix, you get $50 off off your second bowl. And that's really a good deal. Because now we are starting with the sugar and the egg white. And for that, your bowl has to be clean and dry and you can also use the pre-clean function of the Thermomix to really get your bowl sparkly clean. Starting with the sugar, I'm sticking to the recipe. I'm using two ounces, so I hope it doesn't turn out too sweet. And most of you probably already know what we'll be doing. We are making snow! <laughs> I see Hamburg's in the house. Ooh, ooh. So we have made snow and you can also just add some vanilla bean to it and make vanilla sugar. Um, that's gonna be one basic for Monday. You can add some mint to make mint sugar or some lemon peel to do a lemon sugar. So this powder sugar function alone is worth the thermomix. Here is the butterfly whisk and I'm just gonna sit it on top and add four egg whites. So if you know anybody who's a baker, and I feel that especially during this time, people are baking so much more, then invite them to a cooking experience, to one of the Facebook lives. Uh, you can also earn a beautiful host gift, which is this serving bowl, the round serving bowl. Yesterday I showed the oval one. So this keeps food hot or cold for up to two hours and you can uh, lift it off and just put it in the fridge and I really think it's nice enough to go on the table and this keeps your ice cream cool and your food warm and as I said this can be the host gift uh, if you're hosting a zoom cooking experience with some of your friends and you or another friend decides to to join our community plus you get free shipping that's something you don't get when you purchase online so we have two and a half minutes to go just checking if there's any questions i don't think so we have two more days in this cooking challenge tomorrow is baking and the three suggestions from my side, but of course you can do anything you want, is a banana bread that my kids love. I should have my kids do it. Maybe I can bribe them <laughs> to do the banana bread with me tomorrow. Then uh, the focaccia the, uh, with the salt flakes, and it also makes a great emulsion. And um, the almond biscotti, which is a great recipe. I made it before Christmas and uh, I gave it to some friends as a present. And the nice thing is they really last long and they taste so good, especially when dunked in like, coffee or hot chocolate. And the last day of my first Rock Your Thumb Mix challenge is Monday. On Monday we'll do basics. So the vanilla sugar that I almost showed you already. That's always good to have in your pantry. Um, and we have a lemon rosemary infused oil, which I may do because I have a lemon tree and I have a rosemary bush. So just, just add oil. And the vegetable paste. The vegetable paste is a great base for soups. I used it yesterday for my um, lentil curry. And uh, thank you for all of you who, who did the lentil curry yesterday also. Thank you, Sarah. So we have 15 more seconds to go. 
Another thing that I wanted to share is that in this group we also have a lot of cheat sheets. Um, many people ask me, what do I do if I just want to chop carrots? Or what do I do if I just want to steam fish? Well, those cheat sheets um, have all of that information for you. It sounds like it's done because you cannot hear the liquid anymore. And just looking into the bowl, it looks beautiful. So you can just stop the process right there. Wait for eight seconds for the arms to open. And ta-da. And all that's left for me to do is to fold this in with a spatula into my chocolate mixture and I'll mix it all up and I will pour it into these little glasses that I really like that I use all the time for my cooking sessions because they have a lid and I will fill those up in these jars and then I can take it anywhere or keep them at home. <laughs> so I will post pictures uh, of the finished dish. Hope that inspired you. Um, I wish I could be sharing the orange chocolate mousse with you today, but that will have to wait until further notice. But I hope that you keep busy in your kitchen and I appreciate you tuning in and uh, rock on. Bye, thank you. <laughs>